Hello, kindergarten. We've talked about architects already this year, artists who design buildings, and we learned about modern buildings around today too. But what about buildings from the past? Humans have been designing buildings for thousands of years, and today I want to talk about one of my favorite kinds of ancient architecture, castles. So, what is a castle? Castles were large buildings meant to protect the people living inside, with tall walls and towers surrounding it. The oldest castle in the world is the Citadel of Aleppo in Syria, at over 5,000 years old. That's really old. Castles were usually made with stone and lots of different kinds of defenses like drawbridges, moats, and crenellations. You'll find most of these castles all over Europe and in some parts of the Middle East and in Asia as well, in China and Japan. So there's lots of different ways of creating a castle and I want to show you how we can draw and create our own. So take out your sketchbooks and grab a pencil. As always, our drawing is going to start with some basic shapes. So, for our castle, I say let's start with the wall of our castle. Because again, castles are all about keeping people safe, and walls can be very good at doing that. So let's start with drawing just a simple rectangle in the middle of our paper. Next, let's give this castle some towers. Nice tall towers so the people inside can see really far away to see if danger is coming. Notice how my tower starts at the same spot as the bottom of my wall, but goes a little bit taller than the wall. Go ahead and add another tall skinny rectangle on the other side of our wall. Notice how a lot of my lines aren't perfectly straight or the same size, and that's okay, but if you have a ruler, a ruler will help you draw these lines a little bit straighter. So if you want to use that piece of uh, straight edge that I gave you guys, or if you have a ruler at home, that can help you draw this castle even better. Alright, so now, this is a really good base for a castle. I want to show you guys a whole bunch of different ways of adding different options to your castle to make it how you want it to look. So you could keep it like this and have it a little small castle and then add more details. Or if you want, you can make your castle a little bit wider too. I'm gonna make my castle a little bit wider, but you don't have to. I'm gonna make it wider by adding another wall on both sides. You could stop there if you want, or you could go even further and add some extra towers too. Alright, so now we got walls and towers for our castle. There are some extra things that you can add to a castle to make it more protected. One of those things is something called crenellations. Crenellations, well you might have seen them on a castle. They look like this. You can create a crenellation really easily just by knowing our lines. So you know our straight lines, wavy lines, zigzag lines. The line for the top of a castle is a kind of line too. I like to call it a castle line. It goes like this, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up. So, let's go ahead and add those lines to the top of our castle. Over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up. And then I can add some more on these spots. Now, if that kind of line is really tricky for you to do, uh, first practice it on a page in your sketchbook if you're having trouble. Or, you could just draw little squares too. With spaces in between. There. Alright, now our walls are a little bit safer on our castle. 
what about our towers? Well, I want to give you a couple options for your towers. You could do more castle lines along the top, or we could add some pointed triangular roofs to them too. Like this. Or you could do more castle lines if you like how that looks instead. You can have them all be castle lines along the top of your towers. Or you can have them all be pointed on top. It's really up to you how you want to design your castle. Alright, so this is the wall and the towers, but where are actually the buildings that people live in inside the castle, behind those walls? So, let's go ahead and add a couple towers back here where maybe the king and queen or prince, prince and princesses live. So let's add uh, a big tower here. Now if you instead want a couple towers, you could draw two tall towers. There's a lot of different ways of designing the buildings that are behind the walls of your castle. And then, how do you want the top of that tower to look? By the way, this tower is called the Castle Keep. The Keep is where they keep the important people. So, we could do another pointed top, or we could do more castle lines along the top. Maybe I'll do pointed tops for these. Alright. Before we go any farther and adding more details, there's one really important thing we need to add. Where the ground is. We talked about this in a lot of pictures already. Uh, we need to add the horizon line, where the sky meets the ground. So let's add a line behind the castle to show where the sky meets the ground. That'll really come in handy when we color in our picture. Alright, so what kinds of things would you like to add to your castle now? What are some more things we can do? How about windows and doors? Windows and doors on a castle can be maybe like two different kinds of shapes. Either rectangles or arches. Like that. You want yours to have round on top or flat on top. Both look good for a castle. Maybe for this one, I'll do a curved doorway. I like to draw a line down the center so it looks like two doors. Windows, I could add some more curved windows on this one. Maybe I'll give it three windows. I think it's Inside those windows, we could again draw a line down the center. So it looks like it can open up. You can even add a whole bunch of windows on your towers if you want. Sometimes there'll be windows going around the tower so people, as they're climbing up them, they can see out those windows. And maybe on this castle, I'll do a square doorway. Nice, big, tall square doorway. And maybe some square windows on these buildings. Alright. Alright, so that's a pretty good start. You can add more windows and more doors if you want. It's totally up to you how you want to design your castle. What else could we add to our castle now? Any ideas? How about a road so you can get into the castle. I like to draw kind of like a, a winding road. So two curve, S-shaped curve lines. Maybe this castle has a moat. What's a moat? A moat is water that's going around the castle. That way, if there's somebody coming to attack, they can pull up this bridge right here People won't be able to cross. I'll have to cross the water in order to get in the castle. That just makes it even harder. How about flags? Flags are usually square or triangle shaped. 
if you're up for a challenge and you want to make it look like your flag is waving in the wind, watch this. It's really easy. You start out with two straight lines if you want a square flag. And instead of being straight on the top and bottom, make them wavy. That looks like that flag is waving a little bit. Or on a triangle flag, straight on the side, but the top and bottom are also waving. And that looks like that flag is waving in the wind too. Maybe you think about what do you want on that flag? Could be an American flag, could be any country flag, could be your own flag. Maybe I'll put a big D on here so everyone knows it's Mr. Davies Castle. All right, as always, let's add some finishing touches to this. Why don't you think about what time of day it is? Sun, moon, are there stars if it's at night? If it's daytime, are there clouds? Are there birds in the sky? Maybe this one will be in the daytime. And this one could be at nighttime. Don't forget to take a picture of this for Seesaw, and as always, can't wait to see what you guys come up with.